Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here, and in this video I've got your first gameplay and overview of the VK3000 and 2M. This is a new vehicle that will be coming with the Drone Age update in a few weeks, and it has pretty much the beginnings of the Panther tank in it. As you can see, it looks very similar to the Panther tank, and the reason being is because this is pretty much a prototype Panther tank. It currently sits at rank 3, 5.0 BR, and it sits right below, or right ahead of, the VK, or the Panther D in the tech tree and I've got the Panther D here just for some nice comparisons now this is pretty much a Panther D that has less armor less weight and a better top speed or rather a better power to weight ratio so as you can see it's got the same cannon 75 millimeter KWK 42 much the same as this same amount of ammo it's got smoke grenade launchers it's even got the same MG 34 with the same amount of ammo now what's different is that this has 60 40 40 80 45 45 and this has 80 40 40 100 45 45 so we're looking at around 20 millimeters less of armor in the front for the vk 3002 but otherwise it's very similar and it sits at 0.3 vr lower so that's actually quite nice uh, additionally you're looking at around 20 horsepower per ton from this thing which is awesome Whereas this gets a much worse, well, not a much, much worse, but if I'm not mistaken, was that around 15 horsepower per ton? It is a bit less than compared to the VK3002. So this should play like a lightweight panther tank and that's really cool i'm down for that also some other cool things here with the dev server so as you can see i mean anything can really pen through this thing right at the uh, upper glacis plate i wouldn't be too surprised let's try the calliope here with the m i was it 61 shell so that's got 104 millimeters of armor pen so at point blank range you're still not gonna be able to pen it but you can still do work at least against the turret here which is a well-known weak spot, which uh, brings up another point. I know this is a really unlikely angle here, but look at the damage. It goes in. You can see exactly how it damages it. That's really, really cool. So that's a new thing coming with the upcoming patch. But that said, let's uh, try this thing out in-game, see how it performs. Again, I feel it will be pretty much like a lighter version of the Panther D. Maybe it'll go up to 5.3 BR because it's lighter weight makes it kind of possibly better even though it's got lesser armor but anyways let's go and uh, see what we can do with it so here's the unfortunate thing this is ground ab because it doesn't appear that i can actually get into a ground rb match with this and even worse is that i'll be facing leopard twos i'll be facing big light defenses i'll be facing i mean like you can see all these things uavs and whatnot this is gonna be a little bit of a mess but uh you know, hopefully we can at least kind of look at how this thing is, but it's a really sharp model. I mean, I am genuinely impressed. It looks smooth. It's very clean. And again, it's got 50 more horsepower compared to the regular Panther D. And it weighs 10 tons less. I mean, that's a really, it's a winning combination. Also, look at the new mini map. I think that indicates where you cannot go. I mean, well, definitely it indicates where you can't go. But I'm going 61 kilometers per hour, no problem. Of course, again, this is um, this is AB, so I am moving around, I think, with like over a thousand horsepower. But you have UAVs in the air. Pretty crazy. Um, people are testing those out for the first time. But let's see here. I'm gonna go over here. Got some jabronis over there. Oh, mama! Woo! Uh oh, uh oh, no, no. Oh, oh, oh this thing still has the power. Yeah, I get it. Like, these are uh, bots. And I'll be doing some ground RB, like, test drive in a few moments here. So don't, you know, don't look at this as being, like, the only gameplay you're going to get from this thing. Because it's not. You know, I actually want to show off. Because I know most people at this point playing ground RB. Um, even though there's obviously a good section of players at this BR that ooh yes look at that <laughs> wow that, that was actually a pretty nice kill on my part I'll give him credit but yeah I mean if he just fired his main cannon he would have wiped me out there but this looks almost no different than a regular panther tank so in theory you can trick people if you change up the camouflage a little bit into not firing at your upper glacis because I mean the upper glacis on this thing is obviously uh, a little bit compromised compared to the regular panther uh, I'm gonna go this way 
See what we could do. Oh, it's a T-80. Wouldn't that be cool if I could kill him? Uh, there's a jabroni there. Jabroni. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, mama. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, he... Okay, whatever. Okay, then. So it looks like I'm just kind of doing whatever I want here uh, versus this team. Oh, and there it is. He destroyed my cannon. Not really much I can do about that. So this guy's going to probably get away with just killing me in a second. Okay, he's trying to come around for a flank. And I'm going to try to stop him. Oh, no, 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 no. I just want to kill the gunner, please. Please, it's the only reason why I stayed there. Okay, maybe that was kind of stupid on my part. I deserve to die. Any, Anyways, let's get into uh, some actual RB style of um, whatever there and test this thing out because I know most people don't play AV, but uh, yeah, let's do it. See if we can get into a ground RB match. If not, I'll go into test driving ground RB. Okay, so stepping away from the madness that is ground AB, let's, uh, because I can't, I just tried it, I can't play ground RB uh, for whatever reason, maybe they're down, but if you look at the turret shape, it almost kind of looks like a Tiger II in a way, like how the back of it is. It's a little bit interesting. Anyways, look at that acceleration. This thing is moving like how T-34 should move. Speaking of, there's a, uh, I think it's the VK 3002 TB, if I'm not mistaken, which is pretty much, if I'm not mistaken, like a, a German T-34 that actually existed. But I'm going 50 kilometers per hour uphill, and look how stable this is. I mean, bearing, be it, I'm on the road. I'm going 50 kilometers per hour uphill. Wow. Holy cow. This thing is fast. I mean, this is like modern main battle tank speed right here. Genuinely. Wow. Wow. And this is a 5.0 BR. Like, I, I'm not going to go out there and say, oh, this doesn't deserve to be uh, 5.0. Maybe it should be 5.3. I think 5.0 is probably pretty decent because ultimately I have not faced an enemy yet. And the problem with the dev server is regardless of if I could play in ground RB, you're going to be stuck in matches with people playing uh, advanced tanks, right? Like, I'm not going to be facing contemporaries of this tank or even close to it in the dev server because what ends up happening is that man what's going on here what ends up happening man i'm just peppering these guys um is that you know i'm gonna be facing leopard twos i'm gonna be facing uh, m1a1 i'm gonna be doing all that so like you know that's 60 millimeters of armor at the front it's not going to be truly representative of how decent this vehicle um actually is so in a real match versus M4 Shermans, M4A1s, T34s, things of that nature, um, we'll probably either have to wait until further in the dev server. Maybe they're going to release Ground RB. I'm not sure. Where it's like only, you know, five to six BR matches or something. But we're probably going to have to wait for the live server to see how this thing really performs versus other tanks. But as you can see, even on a dirt road, I mean, it's got a remarkably steady cannon. It's going 40 plus kilometers per hour with ease with ease and i am taking out a t44 i mean very very impressive plus i have my cannon or my uh, my grenades it's just a very impressive overall vehicle and i mean i had high hopes for this because i really like these prototype tanks but this actually exceeds my hopes a little bit because of how overall maneuverable this was. I was thinking it might get 650 horsepower rather than 700. And I was thinking it'd probably tip the scales a little bit heavier than it does. So the fact that it has such a drop in armor or in weight for a smallish, I mean, 25% decrease in armor in some areas. Uh, but meanwhile, I mean, like the side of the hull, the side of the turret, the rear of the turret and hull, they all remain the same in terms of armor thickness. It's only the front. So to see a 10 ton drop for the same amount of cannon power, uh, just about 25% less frontal armor, but the same, you know, but with 50 more horsepower, 
this is a really potent combination and this brings a totally new flavor like a whole new feeling to the german ground tech tree i mean like i am really impressed by this thing uh thus far i mean of course it's limited testing there's only so much i could look at here and uh of course i only played ground ab which in which i got smacked by an spa albeit on my own uh you know my own idiocy did that but either way let me know what you guys think in the comments below there's only so much i could actually say about this thing uh before i start to repeat myself and i hope i haven't already started to repeat myself but thanks so much for watching please of course like comment subscribe remember i do have an su 25k giveaway and i'll try to link that in the comments below so if you are interested i am giving away two su 25ks so definitely check that out but thank you so much for watching everyone and i will see you all on the other side take care everyone